Thank you, Mr. Lincoln. Uh, I'm very uh, glad to uh, welcome all of you to my announcement to run for governor today. Actually, one of my lifetime goals is to never run for political office, and I'm, I'm well under on my way. Uh, I think I can make it. Uh, this, is really a, uh, this is really a fun thing. It's a, a great privilege for us to have, uh, especially the governor. He just spent the last week doing really hard things, and this was to be his prep day to go, what do you do on your prep day? <laughs> go to your house and read scriptures. Um, but he, but, yeah. <laughs> but he came here, and we're very appreciative. This has been a very business-friendly uh, uh, government that we have through in the state and in the city, and uh, and we're extremely appreciative. This has been a wonderful place to do business. Uh, we've done business in lots of other places, and there there is no other place that matches the quality of our employees uh, and the people that we get to deal with here in this state. So it really is a privilege, and it's great to have so many of you here. We have these interesting symbolic things over here, and over here, uh, these shovels. Some of them look like shovels and some of them look like spoons they're symbolic of course of uh, what really got us here many years ago when we first launched new skin uh, my sister and Edra and I were sitting in her house and Sandy uh, Steve was helping at the time but just uh, as a side job he was a, a lawyer we had not saved him from that yet uh, but people, we didn't have any product in bottles, and so people had to bring their own Tic Tac container or something, whatever they could find empty, and we would give them one spoonful of product to, to test, and then send them home mad that they couldn't actually get real product. And so these, sp these shovels are symbolic uh, of those spoons. And, and the work that's happened from these amazing distributors, let's, let me ask these distributors to stand again who've donated, and let me explain what gets them here. If you would stand, please. Do not wait for translation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they have each donated $25,000 to our Force for Good Foundation to help uh, humanity in a number of other ways. <laughs> There's another couple, Lang Chow and his wife, who, uh, who aren't here, who also have donated. but. Uh, it's very fitting to have you here because these shovels represent uh, just what's occurred to, to cause a, you know, over a billion and a half dollars worth of volume a year to, to uh, occur in this company. It's because these people have just worked one day at a time, one spoonful of uh, really cool lotion uh, at a time to make a, a miracle occur. So you're the ones that we're, you're our favorite ones to have here. We like the governor, we like you better. <laughs> you can have a seat. Let me tell you the rest of it. Uh, they have a little saying somewhere in Asia. Is it in Taiwan where I've heard this? Uh, when they're they're talking about their go double goal, they also have a cheer that they do that goes like this: "Who's number one? We." <laughs> My, who's the winner? Who's the winner? We. we. It's French, yeah. <laughs> also symbolic for me is this normal looking shovel because about 20 years ago, uh, Steve Lund and, uh, and Max Penniger and I, I can't remember if Sandy came on the field trip. It was, a, uh, it was our opportunity to be little vandals. Uh, we, had, we, were, we had broken ground and the way we broke ground is we had some distributors throw bricks through the window of the uh, Woolworths that used to be here. And the next day in the newspaper, it said how irresponsible we were and immature. But it, it was true. <laughs> so then we headed over uh, to the building with these shovels, and Max helped us. He was the oldest of the immature group, and we smashed everything we could smash inside. You know, we were breaking glass, and he hit a, uh, an overhead fire sprinkler with one of these shovels. <laughs> And a really lot of really black gooey stuff dripped out on his bald head. 
We should have done a statue of that. <laughs> uh, so this is fun to get to break ground again uh, and move into the next generation of amazing work that's going to occur. It's fun to look around and see a whole bunch of employees that were here at the time, to have people like Ray here uh, who, uh, who have watched this whole process occur and have watched these distributors uh, work their miracle. And we'll get to see all this happen again. Well, a whole bunch of you will get to see a whole bunch of these kind of distributors work their miracle tomorrow. To, uh, tomorrow their spoons will be bigger <laughs> than they've been in the past, so we expect greater work from you. <laughs> Commensurate with the size of the spoon. So, Thank you all for taking time to come uh, and, and witness what's the beginning of, uh, of our next generation of miracles. Thanks.